hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much you guys did you know that in some states cheating on your wife is illegal <laughs> i found this article and i find it very interesting 16 states where you can go to jail for adultery i've never heard of that so pretty much in some states cheating on your wife your husband is punishable by law in most cases the act of infidelity is defined as intimate contact between a married person and someone who is not his or her spouse it is recognized fact that 20 percent of married men and 13 percent of married women have engaged in sexual activity with someone other than their spouse but the punishment for such an act varies depending on where you live okay so is your state on the list that's the question let's find out so in arizona having intimate relations with someone other than your spouse is a class three misdemeanor with a maximum penalty of 30 days behind bars in this case not only the traitor will be punished but also the one with whom he offended okay next one is florida who even looks into each other's eyes in a state where swimsuit is the dress code <laughs> however you will have to control yourself for adultery in florida you can face up to up to two months in prison and a fine up to 500 okay kansas sexual contact with anyone other than your spouse is a class c misconduct in kansas punishable by up to a month in prison and a maximum fine of 500 so Kansas couples, remember, there is no place better than your own home, right, right? <laughs> Illinois, Frank Sinatra probably wouldn't have considered Chicago his city if he had known about this state law. The consequences of adultery in Illinois are up to a year in prison for both parties involved. Massachusetts going left in this state is a very bad idea it is considered a felony what punishable by a fine a fine of up to 500 and up to three years in prison you guys okay oklahoma oklahoma this will stop anyone traders here can not only pay a fine of up to 500 but also go to prison for five years Jeez, Idaho. The penalties for fraud in Idaho are no small matter. Adultery here is a felony with penalties of up to $1,000 and three years in prison. Michigan. Treason in this state is a class H felony and a misdemeanor punishable by jail time or other intermediate punishment according to the michigan sentencing guidelines <laughs> with such unclear consequences you should not give in to temptation that's right wisconsin traders are better off here to be rich those court will have to shell out a whooping ten dollars <laughs> in the possible zero 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 years behind bars does not seem like a trifle minnesota the law of adultery in minnesota is as cold as the state itself if you are caught cheating get ready for a fine of up to three thousand dollars and even imprisonment for up to a year utah it is difficult to say how free the polygamists from this state about whom the press wrote feel but under the law, adultery here can lead to imprisonment for up to six months with a fine of $1,000. New York, 
sleeping with someone other than your husband or wife in a city that never sleeps or anywhere else in New York State carries the risk of up to three months in prison. Mississippi. State law states the traders shall be fined any sum not exceeding 500 each and imprisoned in the county jail for a maximum of six months. Georgia. To avoid $1,000 fine or three years in prison, be loyal to your partner. That's right. South Carolina. Treason here can send you to prison for a period of six months to a year and a result in a fine of $500 to $1,000. And last but not least, number 16, North Carolina. This state is not so harsh towards traitors. They spend no more than 30 days in prison. Oh, we have a bonus, you guys. Maryland. Maryland. In this state, you can go to the movies, go on a date, or cheat on your spouse for the same money. The infidelity penalty here is only $10. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, there you have it. 16 states where you can go to jail for adultery. Well, 17, because Maryland was the bonus. I find it quite sad, to, to be honest, because there shouldn't be a law to get you to do the right thing, to not cheat on your wife or your husband. Like, it's sad. Like, that's something that you should want to do naturally, right? If you love the person, you married the person, why would you want to cheat on them? When you truly love someone, you're not going to want to cheat on them. You're not going to want to risk it. It's not worth it. No one is worth losing that person you love for one night of fun, really? And then what? Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just feel like the law is, yeah, I get it. It's the right thing. But it's sad that a law has to be put in place to stop people from cheating. It's sad if you think about that. But yeah, you should wanna do that, you know, naturally on your own. Like you should wanna do that because you love the person and you don't wanna risk it, you don't wanna hurt the person. I don't know, that's just that's just me. That's just how I see it because, I don't know, but the law being placed is just quite sad. Even though it's a, it's a good thing, but it's also kind of sad that people will only, you know, they, will, they, they it's not like they don't want to cheat, but now they're just going to be afraid to be locked up. <laughs> so they're going, you know what I mean? But some people, they don't care about that law. If they want to cheat, they are going to cheat. They'll just be extra careful, you know? But I don't know. Anyway, you guys, <laughs> which state are you in? <laughs> And what do you think of this law? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, just let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, thank you for tuning in, guys. Please like. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.